best profession in the world if you want to interact with patients, if you want to make a difference in the world. I actually was drawn to it when I was a student and I saw that there was a tremendous impact that pharmacists could make for these patients. They tended to be on a lot of medication, there tended to be a lot of issues or obstacles that we could very easily take care of um, and the difference for the patients was much more noticeable than something that I had ever seen with patients who had hypertension or high cholesterol or anything else. When I started working with psychiatric patients, I found their stories absolutely captivating. The experiences that they had um, just struck a chord with me that made me realize how much these people deserved our help with the struggles that they were facing. I think that there's a lot of opportunity for for pharmacists that go into neurology or psychiatry. There are a large number of, um, and an increasing number of meds used for neurologic conditions, including epilepsy, that have a number of complications and monitoring parameters. Um, what's going on in Iraq and Afghanistan, there are a lot of veterans who are returning um, with PTSD. And I think there's clearly a great need for more mental health practitioners um, in the VA healthcare setting. Um, not just psychiatrists or social workers, but also pharmacists. So I, I think there is a role uh, definitely for psychiatric pharmacists uh, in the VA. Um, I think it's really important for uh, our trainees, be it uh, pharmacy students, uh, PGY1 pharmacy practice residents, or even PGY2 psychiatric pharmacy residents to um, be comfortable interacting with folks with mental health disorders and also to recognize that there is kind of a vital role that they can serve as a pharmacist or as a psychiatric pharmacy specialist in interacting and treating folks with mental health disorders. And um, if you're interacting with them in another setting, say in, on the medicine floor or on the surgery floor in, in an ambulatory care setting, at least you'll have some experience to know that um, you know, they're still ultimately just a person requiring some assistance. Education is something that uh, once you go through it, once you achieve it, it, it really can't be taken away from you. And it's just like a residency. It's, it's a, a stamp of um, extra training, extra quality in the services you can provide. And it's there for the rest of your life. For somebody who hasn't joined CPNP yet, I would encourage them to definitely join because there's a lot of opportunities in terms of finding out what, what exactly is out there. I think it'll help me find a job down the road. Uh, I also think it'll help me learn. And if you're focused in on just how your institution works and what your institution does, even though it might, it might work very well for that environment, I think it helps you in your clinical practice to have a good idea about what's going on in the other areas. I have contributed a poster to this meeting. I'm working on a residency project that talks about long-acting injectable antipsychotics. And then I also spent some time in the poster session looking for some project ideas for next year and talking to some of the other residents and, and presenters. I hope that those who are out there who are considering a profession in pharmacy will consider psychiatric pharmacy because it is where we will actually interact with patients more than other specialties that I'm aware of. Mentally ill patients are human beings that they have the same sorts of feelings and they can be intelligent and they can be engaging and that if you treat people with respect and care that you get that back. It's a, it's a fun job if, if you like to help people.